I didn't really want to make this video, but I feel like God pulling on my heart today. And he wants me to spread this message. Um, that, that Jesus is coming soon for his bride. That Jesus is coming coming soon for judgment of everybody. And uh, I want... I want all of y'all to be prepared. I want everybody to be prepared. Because God is long-suffering, not willing that anyone should perish. Well, there are going to be those who, who do perish because the way is narrow. The, the righteous way is narrow and only a few will get in. Only only those who trust and believe in Jesus. Trust trust in Jesus and not in themselves, not in their good works, not in not in not in anything. Trusting that they're a good person because none is good. Jesus says, why do you call me good? There's none good but the Father. None good but God. So we all need a Savior. And Jesus is our Savior. And he is coming soon. I implore you to, to go and work out your salvation with, with fear and trembling, as the Bible says. Um... I was reading Mark, and it's just deep. It's just really, really deep. He says, "Who? This is Jesus talking. Whoever desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever desires to save his own life will lose it, but whoever gives it up, or whoever loses it for my life." Loses his life for my life and the gospels will save his life. That's really deep. Stop trying to figure out your own way. Stop trying to figure out what plans you got for your future. For, because it's God's will. It, ask God what, what his will is for your life. Because that's the life you, you need to be living. Let me continue. Um, for what will profit a man if he gains the whole world? And loses his own soul. For whoever is ashamed of me and my words in this adulterous and sinful generation of him, the Son of Man also will be ashamed when he comes in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. Yeah, Jesus is coming soon. We are in the last days, guys. And this needs to be heard. The gospel needs to be preached. Jesus' name needs to be proclaimed to all the nations, and then he will come. Hold up. Now, this is really scary. This is what it says in Matthew. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven. Not everyone that calls out and says they know God will enter the kingdom of heaven. Listen what it says. But he who does the will of my Father in heaven, whoever does God's will, will enter in the kingdom of heaven. Many, many will say to me, Lord, many, many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name, cast out demons in your name, and done many wonders in your name? And those are people out here that are casting out demons, that are healing people, that are performing miracles in Jesus' name. And then this is what Jesus will say to them. And then I will declare to them, depart from me. I never knew you, you worker of iniquity, you worker of sin, you sinful person that never repented of your sinful ways. You did these good things, but you were living life wrongfully. You weren't living a holy, righteous life. You weren't, you weren't living a life that pleased God. That's scary, isn't it? And, and I trust in God for my salvation, but I fall off. I slip. I slip too, but I trust in God. And, and he is so, so, so good. And the, the truth is that, that he's coming soon. And it needs to be heard. That Jesus Christ died for your sins. And my sins. And everyone's sins. So that we don't have to face God's wrath. He took God's wrath on the cross. So that we wouldn't have to take God's wrath in hell. But knowing that. You, you can still be subjected to God's wrath by not trusting in Him, by not doing the, His will for your life, not doing His will, not not proclaiming the gospel, not 
not trying to bring the kingdom of God to earth. May your will be done on earth, on earth as it is in heaven. Let let the healings be done. Let the miracles be done. Let let all of God wants for our life now to be done. I pray that God will restore all his children and bring everyone to repentance because that is what, what's necessary. I really hope that you try and work out your salvation with fear and trembling. If, if this is the message that, that you needed to hear today, I believe God God put me in your path. That that God's calling you to repentance. That God's calling you to get baptized in the Holy Spirit. He's coming soon and it's about to get real in here. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for, for giving me the time of day. Glory be to God. Thank you.